Well, one other thing that we wanted to touch on uh, that that Goliath and I noticed, I thought was pretty interesting, was uh, now that there there is this, um, when you hit level fifty on the rewards track, you get to choose a new uh, hero portrait, and there is one thing in common with at least nine out of the ten uh, he- hero portraits, uh, and that that is uh, that they all have armor from a very special set. Um, mm-hmm. the exception is the demon hunter, but, uh, do can we talk about the demon hunter first? Sure. Yeah. So the thing, so all of the other sets, they all have, are based off of an, uh, special armor set that you'd get from the very first raid in Warcraft, but demon hunter wasn't a class back then. So instead this is, uh, what's it called? Demon's bite. Is, is that is what it's a demon? I think it's demon bane. Demon bit or yeah, well, whatever it's called, I think, yeah, I think that sounds right, is a special armor set that you could get early on uh, when Demon first came out in the Legion expansion uh, in your basically through special quests and accomplishing various feats in your headquarters, which was this really cool, um, uh, basically demon spaceship that you stole from the Burning Legion as your command center in order to fight against them um basically it's uh you could get this armor set and it's one of those things that if you get the different pieces like the more pieces you have of the set the stronger it becomes and that's something that all of these have in common they're uh well the others are what we call tier sets uh but this is about the closest thing that they could come to it for demon hunter since demon hunter is still new in the grand scheme of things and doesn't have all of those uh, past different armor sets they can draw on. But I think it's pretty fitting that they grabbed something that was basically one of the first powerful sets of armor you could get for the Demon Hunter class when it came out in the game. And they dressed a little in it. Yep. Well, and that's the other thing I noticed is that they matched uh, the name of all of these heroes. Like this yeah. one is Demon Bane Illidan. They mm-hmm. named it after the armor. And so they did that with the other nine heroes as well. And so when you look at the name of the armor, uh, it, it matches up with the name of the, uh, the, uh, the, sorry, the, the name of the, the new hero portrait matches up the name of the armor. Exactly. Uh, so first up, I have the Druid, um, which is, uh, let's see, I don't have the article pulled up in front of me, though. I should should probably get it here. But I, su- I suppose it's uh, Scenario and something or other. Yeah. Yeah, so uh, now not, not all of these armor sets are going to have any individual lore attached to them. Scenario has a where the Scenario Circle is named after Scenarius. Uh, who was Malfurion's teacher and essentially the uh, nature demigod who taught druidism to mortal races in the first place, mainly night elves and Torin, um, though other races eventually kind of joined it a little bit. But it's basically this faction-neutral circle of druids um, that work to you know help keep the balance of nature and all that stuff. And Malfurion is the head honcho of it and everything. So that's kind of uh, what that one is named after. But uh, that's probably the, the most direct lore that we're going to get out of any of these others. Uh, what they do all have in common is that they are from the first raid that I mentioned uh, in the history of Warcraft, which was called the Molten Core, which is where you fight a minion uh, that I'm sure all of you guys are familiar with, Legendary. Uh, he screams, die insects a lot. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> Ragnaros was the very first uh, end, uh, end raid boss in, the, his, in Warcraft. And in the raid, as you're trying to get to him, then you would collect these tier sets, these various pieces that would give you powers uh, the more that you had. And so that was something that it was not only something that people really wanted because it was powerful, uh, but, you know, it was also you you had to get the rare drops. Even if you killed the right boss that dropped it, it wasn't at all guaranteed, especially back in the days of Classic, long before I played it, that you would ever actually get the drop. So if you had a full set of these things, that was a lot of prestige that you had, like 
I have the whole thing. This is the most powerful the game. And I grinded all this out. I had skills with my guild to be able to down these hard bosses enough for me to finally get the armor. So that's why I think it's so cool that these are the skins that these mm -hmm. characters have for getting to the very end. Which, mm -hmm. I might add, so you get this at level 50, correct? Correct, yeah. Mm -hmm. That was the level cap back in Classic. So <laughs> you had to be level 50 in order to go into the Molten Core raid and to fight Ragnaros and to collect all of this armor. So it just matches so perfectly, I think. And didn't you say you, you had the, the Fellheart armor for your Warlock? I, or something I have like a couple of them, yes. Now you can just go into it because it's years old content. And so you can just go around in one shot every and so all by yourself. Um, and try to collect it for uh, transmog purposes, just for the sake of making your character look cool and dressing up. Nowhere near the same prestige, like no no level of prestige it has now. It's just cool looking stuff uh, compared to what it was back then. But hey, some of always, it is really cool looking stuff that you can dress your characters in. You can always play classic. Yes, that that is an option. <laughs> Although now the classic servers have moved beyond. Uh, the Molten Core, they're getting uh, close to the end. I think the next Ramus raid is coming out in that pretty soon. Yeah. So that is the armor stuff that will be the ultimate prestige for the rest of that server's existence, unless they decide to make new classic server where you're going through everything again. <laughs> I don't know if they'll do that or not, but if they did, then yeah, that would be the place where these particular armor sets would shine the most. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, very cool. Uh, I think that pretty much wraps it up for what <laughs> what what we have for our lore for this episode. 